It was a day of high drama in Washington. House Republicans voting to formally begin an impeachment inquiry into President Biden, even though some in their own party admit they have no evidence of wrongdoing. Earlier today, the president's son, Hunter Biden, defying a subpoena to testify privately before Republican investigators, making a rare public statement outside the U.S. Capitol. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, has more. For six years, I have been the target of the unrelenting Trump attack machine shouting, where's Hunter? Well, here's my answer. I am here. For years, Republicans have tried to tie President Biden to his son's business dealings, but have found no concrete evidence of wrongdoing. Hunter Biden already indicted for allegedly failing to pay taxes he has since repaid, today insisting his father did nothing wrong. In the depths of my addiction, I was extremely irresponsible with my finances. But to suggest that is grounds for an impeachment inquiry is beyond the absurd. House Republicans had subpoenaed him to testify today behind closed doors. But Hunter Biden says if they want to hear from him, it should be in public. They ridiculed my struggle with addiction. They belittled my recovery. And they have tried to dehumanize me, all to embarrass and damage my father. Tonight, the chair of the Republican Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan, says they will hold Hunter Biden in contempt for defying their subpoena. This, though Jordan himself refused to comply with a subpoena from the January 6th committee. Today, a different tune. But look, when Congress asked you to come, you're supposed to come and, uh, and come and testify. House Republicans have spent a year investigating the Bidens and have come up with nothing on the president. They say formalizing their impeachment inquiry tonight will allow them access to more documents. Democrats say it's all a sham less than a year before the election. And Mary, what's been the reaction of President Biden tonight? Well, Juju, the president is calling this a baseless political stunt not supported by facts. Biden saying instead of doing their jobs and focusing on trying to make Americans' lives better, House Republicans are focused on, quote, attacking me with lies. And as for Hunter Biden, the White House says the president was aware of what he was going to say and that President Biden is proud of his son. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.